welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup look as such. Um, this is a highly requested video over on my Instagram. So I thought I would do this one with you today. So you may or may not know if you've seen my weekly vlogs or follow me on Instagram that I recently had a chemical peel. So with the chemical peel that I had, it was a called a TCA 15%. So with this peel, it has sort of like a downtime of seven days plus. Um, so I've not really been able to wear much makeup. A lot of questions that I've had um, regarding my makeup is how I cover my scarring. So if I come in closer here, you can see that I have scarring across my chin um, and a few other places as well. So before I had this chemical peel, they were a lot darker. Um, with regards to my chin, there is no bumps as such either. It is obviously flat, it is just scarring, so it is a lot easier to cover. Um, so I thought I would show you how I cover those up today. Um, and just go through my everyday makeup routine. My skin has been peeling for about seven days and I think I'm finally there. I do just have a few flaky bits like around my jawline um but, but apart from there yeah i think i'm there i feel like the texture of my skin is really good at the moment it does feel really glowy um so you if you do suffer with like acne or breakouts then i would definitely recommend getting a chemical peel um, with regards to like what i put on in the morning with my skincare before makeup i always make sure i pop on a hyaluronic acid and then i also put put on an spf 50. now this is really important after having a chemical peel because obviously you've had a fresh layer of skin come off basically so you just really need to protect the really need to protect your skin from any sun damage or anything like that and then what I then follow up with is the Estee Lauder Daywear Sheer Tint Release um this one is like a it's like a bluey color and it's got like little particles in it and as you rub in the particles it adapts to your skin tone and just gives you a really nice glow so I have this one on now this is like my holy grail product like when I've when I had better skin, like if you, um, so my breakouts have sort of come in the last year. So I used to wear this on its own and like on holiday and stuff, it's so good because it's also got like SPF 15 in as well. So the first thing that I do is I always a color correct. This is something that I probably introduced into my regime probably about six months ago. Um, and ever since doing it, I have not looked back. So the current product that I use is this L'Oreal Infallible sort of, I think it's called, what's it called? Long wear concealer palette. So. You can see that I have used the concealer shades to death here and then I've also got the green and then the purple. So I'll use the green lightly on my chin to cover any scarring and then I will use the purple underneath my eyes because I do again suffer from dark circles as well. My makeup brushes aren't clean, they do need to be clean so just please excuse. Um, so I just use like a little brush like this and then I pop Okay, sorry if you see me looking down there. I've just got a mirror down there just so I can check. So yeah, I just lightly dab this on any sort of blemish. Got a little pesky one in there. Do you just hate eyebrow spots? They're literally like the most painful little spots in the world. Okay, and then I've just got a few little scars here. And a little bit of redness there. Okay, so that... <laughs> um, that's all sort of like my scarring and stuff. So I cover that with... And then I go in with a little brush like this. This is from Brushworks. I think I got these in a PR box actually. And I do really like them. And then I'll dab. So I never brush the formula. I always make sure I dab, dab it into my skin. And it just cancels out any of the redness. Just so we've got like a nice base before I put my foundation on. Um, I do like to, yeah, use not too much of this. Just because I have found that sometimes I do look a bit green if you use too much. Um, but yeah, just a light, a light layer just to take out most of the redness. I'm then going to go directly in with the purple colour. And I just pop that in the most darkest point of my dark circles, which is like the hollows there. And again, same brush and I'll just dab 
and I will drag that a little bit like the excess a little bit along my eye as well but focusing mainly on blending in the hollows Like so, just to lift that area completely again before concealer. Okay, and then, if at the moment I'm loving like a glowy, dewy look, and this is another new product that I have introduced into my daily makeup routine, and this is the um, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I think the writing has come off there a bit. Um, I have this in shade medium four and I like to use this underneath my foundation you can use this again with foundation on its own um, it does look really nice but it comes with like a little applicator like that and I just pop a couple of streaks on each cheek one on the chin and then just a couple and then I like to go down the nose as well because I like it when the oh my god my hair Okay, this is not going to go well, is it? And for that one, I will use this brush. Again, from Brushworks. I don't know if it has any numbers or anything. I don't think it does. I think it came in a set. So it's like a little kabuki brush. And again, I will just blend that in, in a dabbing motion again. I feel like this just gives a really nice glow to the skin. Again, if you don't suffer from scarring or anything, and you can you can use this on its own, like it's really nice on its own. Um, but for me, I just like prefer that extra bit of coverage to wear this underneath my foundation. Just to give it some extra glow. So yeah, when that is blended in all nicely, and I've got, if you can see, just got a lovely little glow, sun-kissed glow, which is what I'm always after. Next is foundation, and I have two sort of go-to foundations currently. Uh, the first one is this Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid in the shade 30 Sand. Now this is very much like my skin colour tone, so when I've not got a fake tan on, um, this like matches me perfectly. Um, I do currently, have, I have just popped a fresh layer of tan on, so I will use this, um, and then I, with the Kat Von D Locket Foundation, this is a very thick foundation, that's something to bear in mind. Um, but it's great coverage for when I'm shooting, this is what I'll use when I'm shooting, just so it will last all day. This one is the colour that I use that really matches fake tan well, because it's got quite like a yellowy sort of like orangey kind of tone to it um anyway i'm gonna use the oh, got a really itchy eyebrow I'm gonna use the dream radiant liquid foundation today my ipad just started playing all by itself that's scary okay so what i like to do with this is i'll pop a pump on my finger and then i'll just dab Dab where I want the coverage to go. Oh god, I really should have put my hair up. Shouldn't I? Oh. And then I go in with a damp beauty blender. This is a Real Techniques one, and I do prefer the beauty blender one, um, but this is just the only one that I've got at the minute. So I will take that and just tap that on my face. I just find that the Real Techniques um, ones just aren't as spongy. Like, I feel like you have to f like put fill them with quite a lot of water for them to be like proper spongy. But then they're like so wet. Like I can just never get on with them as well as a Beauty Blender one. I do need to pick one up. I've just not had a chance to. As we've been moving. Um, if you've seen my latest vlog, which went live on Sunday, you'll see that we moved to a new apartment. Um, obviously, I'm not in the apartment now, so I'm basically between um, my parents' house in Devon and the apartment. Um, the majority of the time, I will be in the apartment. Um, but it currently has no furniture in it, so I thought I'd film here today. So if you see like any flaky bits of skin on my chin, like I said, I am still peeling and I've just caught a little bit there. 
which is lovely. Um, and again, just taking that down my neck as well. Um, so I always like to start off with quite a light layer of foundation and then if I need to build it up in any areas then I will go over it. Okay, so anyway, in that case I will just pop another pump of this and I will just focus this mainly on the areas that I want extra coverage. Um, I always seem to, uh, underneath where my nose is always at the first place for my foundation to go. So yeah, again, I'll just dab that into the extra areas. I do find with this foundation it is really long lasting, which is really good. Um, and it's kind of like a, um, it's kind of like a little, it's like a dewy matte finish. Like it's not fully matte and it's not fully dewy. <laughs> is it satin? No, it's not even satin, is it? Anyway, I'm just, just rambling on. Oh, this oil happens. I've got a really big itch on my nose and I can't reach it. Oh, try and itch with a beauty blender. Oh. Uh. Why are my ears really red? Does that mean that someone's talking about me? If my ears are burning. Who's talking about me then? I know you're doing it because my ears are red. <laughs> Next I will go in with concealer and this one is the collection um, long lasting concealer in the shade Fair One. And I will just pop this under my eye. Just brighten them up. I'm also running out of this. Does anyone else just like run out of everything all in one go? I need to go to the shops and get everything. So I'll pop that underneath my eyes and then just blend that in. Again, focusing mainly on the hollows. Of my skinny skin skin. Um, and then if I do want a little bit of extra coverage on my, under my eyes also I'll go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour palette and I'll just use this lighter shade here. I'm really trying to not open my mouth but I'm really struggling at the same time. <laughs> um, so yeah I'm just going to blend that in. That is foundation, concealer, done. Oh my god, I've got such an itchy nose, I can't itch it. I'm going to do brows next, so let's do brows next. Um, oh, actually, I've just been sent this Brow Master from Bad Minerals and I needed a new brow pencil because I was using the Dip Brow Pomade. Is it Pomade? Pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I just find it's too drying. Oh, I've been sent, oh, I don't know if this is going to be the right colour now. I've been sent this Bad Minerals Brow Master sculpting pencil in the shade Coffee. So let's have a look. Oh, it's quite a thick pencil on the end. Um, and it's got like a little speedy brush. Right, I've never used this before, so um, hopefully you can see. I'll brush them up first. Now I have had my eyebrows microbladed. Um, that was quite a while ago, so you can probably, so the main focus for the microblading was like underneath here. Um, so my eyebrows, Eyebrows? My eyebrows are quite a good shape normally, but I just prefer them like a little bit thicker. Okay, right, let's give this a go. This is like first time using this product, so please remember. So I'm trying to be really light and just creating sort of hair strokes with the pencil. Oh, and then if you do ever mess up, just use the spoolie brush on the end. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Okay, and I do, so that was the end filled in, and I'm going to take it just to make the arch. 
a little bit more prominent. And just add some extra thickness on that as well. Okay, so that's my eyebrows done. Um, and then I also will just go over with a brow mascara. So this is the MYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade... I don't know. Oh, brunette. I'll just pop that in. I do really want to get my eyebrows laminated again. So I think I'm going to do that soon because I did really love the look of them when they were laminated. Okay, god that looks really weird now I've just done that, I should have done those last. Um, right, I'm going to go on to my contour now. So, I am going to go in with the medium contour palette and just mix those two shades together. And I am using that with an NYX, I think this is the contour brush, it's number 5, but I think this is the contour brush. I just like to do that in slow motions. I don't like too much of a strong contour. I just like a light dusting. A light dusting? What am I going on about? Like so. And then I'll just take that underneath my jawline as well. And then, it's sort of like going in a three, really. Oh, I found since oh, it's a bit better today, actually. I found since having my peel, like that, my contour line there has been really dry. So it has been sticking, but it's a lot better today. Okay, and then what I always do with the excess on the brush, I like to just contour underneath my lips. Just to make the bottom lip stand out and then take a little bit. Contour my nose as well. Like so. And then after I use the cream contour, I would then follow it up with a powder bronzer. So this one that I'm using is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. And I just use the bronzy shade. Just over the top. I like to be super bronzy and super glowy, in case you hadn't already guessed. Put that in on the other side as well. Oh, so this brush is a Real Technique brush and it's the 100. Number 100 it's got on there. Let's go on to eyes. So I'm currently not liking wearing any highlighter. I feel like with the highlighter underneath my foundation and things like that, it just creates enough glow not to wear any highlighter on top and then for my eyes oh i forgot blusher so blusher my current favorite blusher is this one from mac and oh it's so old i can oh harmony harmony just about could see it and then on a real technique brush again I'll just do this on the apples of my cheek and then blend it out. If you're wanting more of a powdered look, I will use the setting powder by Laura Mercier under my eyes as well. But I'm kind of, sometimes don't enjoy that and I'm kind of wanting just a proper dewy look today. And then with my eyes, I'm using this MAC Semi Sweet Times 9. Oh, Semi Sweet Times, that's what it's called. Eyeshadow Palette this one here and then I'm just going to be using those top two shades there so I first you go in with the lighter color and just put that 
all over the lid. I also love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance, is that what it's called? Modern Renaissance palette. Um, but yeah, I have kind of been reaching for this one a lot more recently. Okay, so I've just popped that all over my lid and then I'm just going to go in with the more, it's kind of like a nudey, light brownie shade. Um, just sort of like in the creases of my eye. I always just use the same brush as well, this is probably not right, but that's what I do. And I just like to build that up. A subtle, sort of like nude, smoky eye. Right, and then after that, brownier colour again on a MAC, what is this, MAC 239 brush and just pop that underneath my eyes. Like so. Might bring that down a little bit more actually. Yeah. And then okay. Eyes done, cheeks done, foundation done. So now I'm just gonna go in with mascara. Um I've really struggled with mascara. I've never found one that like I really love. Um, the one I'm currently using is the Collection Lush Serge. Now I don't like this one at the start, but as it gets the mascara gets a little bit older and a bit stickier, I do really like it. And then I'm just using some eyelash curlers. These ones are from hmm, Sephora. So I'm going to do this now. Um, I do prefer to have lash extensions, but I've just currently not got them. Mascara it is. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna go up on it with a mascara. Okay, mascara done. As you can see, yeah, just make some really long. Okay, lastly, let's get on to lips. So if you don't own this product in your life, then you need to go and get it ASAP. So this is the Kiehl's Butter Mask for Lips. This is stuff, this stuff's amazing. I bought it last year when I went to Dubai on the way back um, for, in the airport and look, gone, all gone. So I've had this for about a year, this has lasted so long, I ran out about three or four days ago when I've not been able to use it and my lips are so dry. I use this every, like I'm trying to literally get as much out of it as I can. There's literally nothing left, this makes me so sad. This looks so good underneath lipstick and obviously you can use it as a mask overnight as well and it just makes your lips so soft. So I'm going to have to get another one ASAP like ASAP because I can't be, cannot be without that. Um, lippy, so I have a few variations that I like to use. I love the Peach Stock Lipstick, um, MAC Strip Down Liner, um, the NYX London Liner is also a favourite of mine. Um, the London Soft Lip Cream is also another favourite. So today I'm going to use the NYX Lip Pencil in Nude Truffle. I'm going to use Peach Stock Peach Stop, Peach Stock Lipstick, and also the Kiko Milano Lip Gloss in 3D Hydra. So, so I'm just gonna line my lips. I literally hate doing my lips without that product because my lips are so dry. And I don't like Vaseline, I feel like that makes your lip, my lips worse. Right, Rachel, stop talking while you're doing your lip liner, please. And hit that over as 
so I don't like to overdraw overdraw my lips too much because I don't feel like it suits me um but Okay, so that's the lip liner. And then I go in with peach stock, which is coming to this end, which brightens it up. Mm -hmm. Like so, just gonna tap that in. Peach stocky. And then I'm gonna go in with this one, which is like a really light glass so that is the finished makeup look so this is something that i'll go to daily obviously the lips i'll change up but usually base wise and eye wise so yeah this is the finished look this is sort of my everyday go-to makeup obviously i'll change up the lips here and there depending on what I fancy for the day um but yeah super quick super simple so I hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you did um let me know any other future videos that you would like me to do and yeah I shall see you in the next video bye